everyone. In this video, we're working on violin two's part of Eleanor Rigby. So you have the harmony here. What's hard about your part is making sure that you stay steady and that you change your notes at the right time. You only have two notes in this piece, which, make things e which makes things easier for you. Um, the first note of the piece is a B. It's on the third line of the staff. And you play that B by placing your first finger on the A string. The second note you have is a G, which is a third finger on the D string. So make sure that you're either playing one on A or three on G. If you're not playing one of those two notes, you're playing a wrong note in this piece. So this is kind of an exercise in your ability to follow your music and count. Um, in class, I've noticed a lot of you are looking at me. Um, there is no music on my face, unfortunately. It's all on the stand in front of you. So make sure you follow your music like you would read a book. You follow one word at a time. So here we go. I'm going to play through the whole thing at our final speed, and then we'll go back and play a little slower. Oh, also, try to play staccato. Short. Almost forgot. One, two, three, four. I don't think I'm going to go back and play it slower because uh, there is so much repetition. I'm going to encourage you to just go right ahead and try and play along at that speed. Um, uh, one tip I can give you is oops, there we go, to keep your first finger down on the A string and your third finger down on the D string. Uh, that way, sorry, let me just move a little bit here. That way, when you change notes, you don't have to move your left hand fingers. It's all there for you. Instead of... It's just so much more unnecessary movement. You don't need it. You can keep your first finger down on the A string and your third finger down on the D string and they don't interfere as long as you keep sort of a tunnel. Oh, sorry, a tunnel there so that your third and second finger don't touch the A string. If they're flat like this, it's not going to work. But if you keep them nice and round, it will work and it will help you to play um, at our final tempo. If you're done with this, then you should probably try to play your part along with um, the first violin part or cello or viola. Other than that, happy practicing. Good luck, second violins. <laughs>